going to transfer you. Give me one second. All right, I was on hold for 10 minutes. I know, I do apologize. I had another line before that. Give me one second. Let me transfer right. you. Yes, uh, I have some psychopath police stalking me, and they're telling me that you guys put a warrant out for my arrest. Oh, let me tell you, um, officer in charge. Huh? Have you spoken with the officer? Um, I, I wouldn't really know offhand if we had a warrant out for your arrest. It just happened. The cops tell me that there's already a warrant out for my arrest. They're okay, lying you to need me. To turn yourself, you need to turn yourself into the police station then. That's the problem. I'm not in Michigan. You're not in Michigan? Okay, well, you're going to have to work with the um, police department to figure out how they're going to handle it. The police department won't even tell me for sure if I have a warrant, uh, won't tell me a case number, won't tell me anything whatsoever. They continue to abuse me. That's the whole problem with what's going on in Clinton Township. Okay, um, if you're at it, like I said, you're going to have to work the police department on it. We wouldn't know. That it's not our case until you actually get a rank. So when they tell me when they tell me to contact you, they're lying. No, you're gonna need to speak with them because it's not our case until you bring your stuff. Well, I'm not coming in until you guys come and get me. First time hearing you. I'm sorry, my phone was breaking up. I said I'm That's not gonna. Okay. I'm not gonna come in, and you guys gotta come get me. Okay, well, you don't have to work with that with the police department. They're gonna come check. And the money. No, I'm thousands of miles away. Everybody knows this. What state do you live? Uh, I live in uh, California. Okay, all right. Um. They know that. And they they know that. Okay, so they might just keep the warrant active until you come back in. Until I come back in where? Yeah, I can't say for sure. I'm not the police department. I don't know how they'll do that. You probably always have that warrant out if you get picked up for probably anything, and even in California. They're going to arrest you. Yeah, that's the whole point of the abuse that y'all are doing to me. Abuse? <laughs> okay, yeah, there's no, you're going to have to work with the, I'm sure there's an officer in charge from um, whatever department it was that put the warrant out for you, that issued the warrant. So you're going to have to speak with that officer to figure out how they're going to take care of this. All right, and can you take my complaints? Can I take your complaints? Yes. No. This no, is all started because I've uh, demanded that the police be charged with You know, forces. you're going to need to... What, what department was it? Clinton Township Police Department clearly admits okay. they forged records on the YouTube video Clinton Township Police Corruption Rizzo. They freely admit that they destroyed the evidence and that they're abusing me. There's 600 hits in three days. Yeah, it was Clinton Township, so if you're not happy with Clinton Township, then you should be calling the Cone County Sheriff's Department and deal with them. Well, why would you go? Why would they be telling me that you guys are picking up my charges? Are they lying to I, me? I, I don't know until we, they actually bring you in. Um, you have to, like I said, you have to speak with the Sheriff's Department if you're not happy with what's going on with Clinton Township. I already we have. We can't really get involved in that. You, so you guys don't do any investigations whatsoever? No, we don't. We do not until we actually have the case and it's been arraigned and... We won't get involved in that, no. So there's nobody in this whole world that cares about me or will help me whatsoever? If you're not happy with this, you should call the Macomb County Sheriff's Department. They would be who you would complain to about Clinton Township. Didn't the Macomb County Sheriff get removed from his position? Ain't there really, like, no. not a sheriff? Like, isn't that the reason they've been stealing my bail money? No, he's been a sheriff for a long time. Hackle? No, Hackle retired. No, he moved out to something else. It's... Tony Wickersham has been the sheriff for a long time now. All right, so who do I call exactly to find out about my charges? I don't know. If I could say, if you have to work Clinton Township about the charges, if you have some complaints you want to make, then you're going to call and report those to the Macomb County Sheriff's Department. All right, well. Okay. How, do, how, does, the, how do. does the Clinton Township Police Department get away with telling me that you guys got the warrant? We don't. They have the warrant. It's going to be up to them to approach how they're going to pick you up. So, like I said, if you're not happy, I would call the Macomb County Sheriff's Department.
All right. Well, I believe that this okay. is abuse, and I really wish that you'd do your, take your constitutional oath and help me. Okay, yeah, there's nothing I can do. So you don't care about people at all, huh? There's nothing I there's just nothing we can do. It's not in our jurisdiction to do it, so. But it's in your jurisdiction to lure me to town and prosecute me? If the warrant's brought forward, if you're here, yes, we would prosecute, but not until we have it. Not until you're here, so it's not our case until you're here. Do you guys really think that Jerry Brown and Rick Schneider are going to sign off on this? I don't know who will sign off on it, but if they sign off on it, we would be there for court. Well, to extradite me, you need... Snyder and Jerry Brown to sign it. You should know that. Okay, okay. well, it does. It, it's you should know that if you're they putting to sanctions. Us with that. If you're putting sanctions us. on me and threatening to yank me out of the car by my ankles, you should know the answer to that question. No, it's up to them to bring it to us for the extradition. Then we would sign off. If they haven't brought it yet, then we haven't, we haven't authorized it. All right, so what, what policy and procedure do I need to do to get this extradition going without dealing with the Clinton Township maniac? How do you get your extradition going? Yeah. I want to come and get you this over with. Clinton Township, maybe they're not going to extradite you for it. I don't no, know. No, you what guys, I got my about. day in court. You guys made a, made a, make it a felon out of me, put more charges on me to cover this up. I will come down there. The, you know, this is all because they don't want me at the Ronnie DeMambro trial. This is criminal, what y'all are doing. But then you have to com com complain to the Compliance Sheriff's Department. Okay, well, I say they're, they're imp implicated on. because this is a complaint against Comet, your uh, net team. So how do I complain to their boss about them? Who else do I complain to? And then you have to complain to the Sheriff's Department. Okay, so like I said, if I don't believe that it's proper to complain to the same people that I say should be arrested, who else should I complain to? You complain to them, you can complain to the um, state police, you can complain to the governor's office, wherever, however high you feel you have to go. So you guys are just insulating these illegal actions and covering up this crime. Is my charge There's, no crime. You. There's no crime cover up. Forgery. You not do Forgery. Until you are here. Forgery is a crime. The Clinton Township forged commercial documents and papers and destroyed them after hiding them, Brady violation, exculpatory evidence. And convicted me. You okay, do the same thing. You have to make a charge on them for, and you have to call the Cone County Sheriff's Department All right, to do what? that if uh, you feel that there's been illegal. Behavior. I've already done that. Okay, okay, that's all. I, that's all we can do. So your your you, your bottom line is you're just going to insulate the scumbags.